In the latest news, Sophie Sierra of the reality series 90 Day Fiancé moved out of Rob Warren's flat after learning that he had been sending and receiving recordings with other women. Rob has cheated on Sophie several times, and their relationship has been full of turmoil and betrayals. Keep watching this video as we tell you all about it. Season 10 of 90 Day Fiancé has seen a lot of drama and betrayals in Rob and Sophie's relationship, including several instances of Rob cheating on Sophie. Sophie packed up her belongings and moved out of their shared flat in the most recent episode after learning that Rob had exchanged and received recordings with other women. Supporters are uniting behind Sophie, calling for her to permanently part ways with Rob due to his disrespect and lack of empathy towards her particularly with reference to their divergent stances on starting a family. In the most recent episode, Sophie found the videos and was appalled and devastated. She claimed that she had given up her entire life in England to be with Rob and that she was stuck in the United States with no idea what to do. She could no longer bear to be around Rob, so she moved into a new temporary residence in Los Angeles. In a previous episode, Rob lost his temper at Sophie even bringing up his previous infidelity. Therefore, it should come as no surprise that we discovered two significant facts in 90 Day Fiancé Season 10. First, it turned out that Rob had cheated more than some of the audience had thought. The second was that Rob repeated the action, and so Sophie moved out. Things are still weird the following day. After a few hours of sleep, Sophie feels better but Rob seems to have had a busy mind all night. She discovered the previous evening that he had previously announced his intentions to have children, meaning that she would bear his children. However, he chose not to bring it up with Sophie, and it appears that he thought talking about baby names equated to making plans for this part of their future. Maybe now, more sensible minds will win out. Due to their messy, continuous conflict on 90 Day Fiancé Season 10, Rob Warren and Sophie Sierra are a topic of discussion among fans of the franchise. It appears that the shady American native Rob has once again deceived the beautiful British love. Sophie left her life in London to live with a guy she would marry in Los Angeles. But after several betrayals, Rob seems to have cheated on Sophie once more, putting her in a dangerous predicament. The conflict between Rob and Sophie grew more intense in Sunday night's 90 Day Fiancé episode, which resulted in a sudden and stunning breakup that may have been permanent. Sophie was horrified and devastated to learn off-camera that Rob had exchanged and received recordings with other women. She packed up her belongings and moved out. Sophie revealed that she had relocated into a new temporary residence in Los Angeles since she was no longer able to tolerate being around Rob. Sophie might, however, wish to remain in Los Angeles and figure out a means to do so without a K-1 visa. Rob's reputation has been damaged throughout the 90 Day Fiancé season, but it has recently gotten much worse. Rob stated that he would not be happy without a biological child, and Sophie clarified that she was afraid of giving birth for health-related reasons, so the two were already at a crossroads. Rob will probably now experience a great deal of blowback for his repeated infidelity to Sophie and his lack of empathy or deference to her. The likelihood of them becoming a 90-day fiancé couple and getting married is quite low. Before joining Sophie Sierra in Season 10 of 90 Day Fiancé, Rob Warren appeared on another reality TV program. Sometime in 2019, Rob, a 32-year-old Los Angeles resident, started dating 23-year-old Sophie from London. Sophie's affluent grandfather helped her grow up well. Sophie grew up to become a model and social media content developer. Rob was raised in a lower social class than Sophie. He worked on little odd jobs here and there, according to Sophie. Rob's inconsistent professional path was a source of frustration for her. Fans noticed that Rob lacked a bathroom in his Inglewood flat when Sophie moved in. Although Sophie had anticipated that Rob's housing arrangement would only last temporarily, Rob didn't appear to be planning to move out. Once Sophie discovered Rob was cheating on her online, she made the decision to leave his home. Rob was getting obscene videos from other ladies via an app. Rob has more than 22,000 Instagram followers. His posts, which largely consist of selfies and modeling photos, are mostly about him. About Me is a collection of stories found in Rob's highlights section. 
Here, Rob discloses that 90 Day Fiancé is not his first experience working in reality TV. This screen grab use in Rob's story is from the television program Love Connection. He can be seen grinning broadly for the Fox show's cameras. The piece features Rob's caption, They caught me slipping on Fox. Given that it was uploaded approximately 278 weeks ago, this episode might have aired in July 2018. Rob works as an actor as well. He doesn't appear to have landed many acting roles though. According to his IMDb, he gained notoriety for the 2022 release of Virus. In this short film, a man by the name of Willie, who had never possessed a computer before, purchases one from an odd man. Not long later, the computer begins to act strangely. Rob is not mentioned among Virus's key cast members. Despite claiming to be a jack-of-all-trades in Season 10, Episode 1, Rob is eager to pursue a career in film and television. Rob might have believed that if he auditioned to be on 90 Day Fiancé, a relationship with a British woman would instantly make him famous because his love connection stint didn't attract much attention. Rob did manage to become well-known suddenly, but for all the wrong reasons. He's no longer so much a hero as a franchise antagonist. But it never prevented celebrities like Big Ed Brown and Angela Deem from rising to fame. Rob and Sophie have encountered other challenges in their relationship besides Sophie's choice to keep her sexual orientation a secret. Rob clarified that he wasn't easy because of Sophie's spoiled rich girl tendencies. Even his affluent family friend Sophie was vocal about her dislike of the studio flat. The TLC stars will also probably have to deal with Sophie's mother's apparent distaste for Rob. Her mother called Sophie's partner Rob the Knob during a phone conversation. When Sophie admitted on the October 29 episode that she wasn't sure if she wanted kids, Rob and Sophie hit a major snag in their relationship. Rob, who was confident he wanted children, was concerned when she disclosed that she wasn't sure if she wanted to become pregnant. He told his sister that she had a uterine problem and wasn't sure if she would be able to conceive. Rob claimed that even after learning the medical secret from his sister, he could not walk down the aisle today if he did not agree to have children. Because he said he spotted Sophie on a dating app the previous time she was in Los Angeles, Rob's pal Tori harbored misgivings about Sophie as well. Sophie acknowledged using a dating app but she was looking for Pulse Abroad by using the best friend's mode. Sophie makes an attempt to persuade the filmmakers that she met Soraya on the app with the intention of becoming friends. Since Soraya is proof that Sophie just used Bumble for friends, Tori apologizes to Sophie inside the club for making him doubt her loyalty to his friend Rob. When Sophie originally traveled to the United States to live with Rob, Tori was the first one to notice her on the dating app. Tori had seen Sophie on Bumble's dating section, but Sophie denied it to Rob when he confronted her. Meanwhile, Rob refused to acknowledge that during their brief separation during the COVID-19 epidemic, he had been the one to cheat on Sophie. Rob was sending her explicit recordings of himself while conversing with an unidentified woman on the internet. Rob's intentions are questionable, and Sophie has demonstrated that she never meant to cheat on him with a dating app. According to Sophie, she has never been engaged in any close relationships with women. What are your thoughts on this? Leave your comments below and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more.